Hey guys, I'm Mike from On Point Craps, and today I'm going to double up on my short stack strategy and try it out at the $30 level. Hey guys, welcome back to the On Point Craps table. So today's strategy, I'm doubling up on my short stack strategy that I ran a couple days ago. Uh, $150 bankroll, $15 per shooter, seeing what we could do with a small stack. It was suggested by one of my subscribers, Andy, uh, that I try it at the $300 bankroll level uh, using $30 bets. Uh, double the bet, possibly double the profit. Uh, $300 bankroll is kind of the starting bankroll that I typically use in my rollouts. Uh, it's kind of the wheelhouse of this channel, so I figured, why not? Let's do it. Um, the irony of it is, as I've been rolling out practicing, I seem to be doing worse at the $30 level than at the $15 level. So we'll see how it rolls tonight. Um, but in case you didn't catch the early, very, earlier video, um, please go back and watch it. Um, it's going to play exactly the same way. Uh, it's going to start out as a dark side strategy on the don't pass, and then transition to a hybrid with some place bets, but still on the don't pass, and then go straight light side with just some plate place bets. It all depends on profit margins, what we're winning and how we play. Um, I'll talk through that a little bit as we play it because it's easier just to show it. So with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and select our dice. We'll put our bets out and get this show rolling. So we're going to start out with a $30 don't pass. As I said, we are just a uh, straight dark side, not hedging to come out, just waiting for uh, a point. The point is 10. It's a 6, 4, 10, 10 easy. That's great for us on the dark side. Now we just sit and wait. A uh, pair of aces. Aces in both places. It's a two craps. Um, we're, we're not cheering for the seven. We're just letting the shooter roll. Uh, seven is strong. We know big red comes. And uh, when it does, we'll get paid. There's a five, four, one, five. No field five. Dice out. And there's a yo. Yo Levin. Yo Levine the dancing queen. Dice are out. And there's another five. Four one five. It's a no field five. Dice are out. And there she is. Big red. Five two seven. That's going to go ahead and pay us 30. So now we go into our next shooter's bankroll, which would be another $30. So we have this $30 win. We're pulling out another $30. Really, this would be the winning. We would take that down. We put out another $30 shooter. So that's how it works. And then we're going to go ahead and place the five and the nine. Now at the $30 level, uh, we could go to the six and eight. We'd be collecting $35. But at the $15 level, uh, we kept it on the five, started on the five and nine. We'll keep it on the five and nine for this strategy uh, because it will pay out a little bit more. That's really the only reason. So now we're looking for some points. We need one of these points to hit um, before the big red in order for us to progress to the next level. So dice are out. And that is a five. Which kind of stinks for us because we weren't working. We don't work on the come out. But here we are in this situation. We will now move to the six. Since we're on the five, we don't want to be fighting with ourselves. Um, there, we want to try to collect on this six. Dice are out. And there's a nine. It's a five, four, nine. That's going to go ahead and pay us 42. 42. Oh, that was only 41. 42. We're just going to go ahead and rack that and bring the nine down. So at this point, um, even if big red hits, we'll lose this, but that will pay us we'll break even. That's where we want to be to transition to the light side. We're hoping for that six before big red, though. Dice are out. And there's a yo, yo Levin. Dice are out. And there's a six. Six easy. It's a four, two, six. That's great for us. That's going to pay 35. 
We're going to rack it and bring it down. That's a little bit of a bonus win. Um, because if we hit big red now, we can do a lot when we go to the light side. Dice are out. And there's another six, four, two, six. Dice out. And there's a five. That is the point. That's okay. We're going to lose this. But we're good to go. So we're looking at, we bring out another $30. It's the next shooter's. We're just going to stick it here for a second. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to wait for another uh, point to be established. Dice are out. Now, some people might wonder why I don't go ahead and place the bets, work to come out. I just typically don't. Uh, there's no real reason, just my gut. Uh, I see a lot of come out sevens, and I don't want to get burnt. So now we have money in our rack. We have enough... Uh, to go inside. And then the point was four, sorry. To take all the numbers but the point. Just from our winning. So now we're completely light side. Um so that 30. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it's a hundred and five times three is what, 150? Yes, 150. Um, so, you know, we can tell the dealer, take, make us 150 on everything but the point. That's how uh, you would call that. And now we're just straight light side. We're just going to go ahead and, and collect it, um, as they hit. And that's it. Dice are out. We transitioned very quickly to the light side here, which is good for us. That's going to pay us 35. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, we will buy the 10. Uh, where I'm from, you have to pay for it up front. It's going to be a $1 VIG. And by buying it, for those that don't know, what that will pay do is pay true odds when it hits. So it will be paying us uh, $60 for a $1 VIG. Thanks for out. And that's a yo, yo 11. Doesn't help us, doesn't hurt us. Thanks are out. And there's a nine, center field nine, that will pay us 42. And we are, we're, we're just same betting it. A lot of people, you know, say same bets, not very good, but that's just how this strategy works. We're just gonna keep same betting it. Thanks are out. Another yo, yo, Levin. Dice are out. And there's a six. It rolled on me. That is a four, two, six. That's going to pay 35. Now, here's where rack management comes into play. We can reset this. 150, 10, 20, 35. So we have 125 out there. 10, 20, 5. There's 150, $162. If we took this right down, down right now, we're up $162. So that's a choice that you have to make. Um, you're up a little bit more. Are, are you going to continue to try to make more profit? We've already on the light side. It's been a little bit of a long roll. Um, we're just going to roll it out see what happens. Um, we're, we're four versus a big red, so that's kind of risky for us, but we're going to stick with it just to see what we can get. And dice are out. And that would naturally roll to a four. That is a square pair. It's a hard eight. And that will pay us 35. Again, we just keep racking. Same bet. Now, you could press, um, you could do like a Butterberg, and every time the, the point hits, you, you, you bring it down. Uh, there's many ways you can play this light side. Um, as a matter of fact, with the point being forward, that, that's what I'm going to do in this one. Next time we hit, we're just going to bring down that number. We'll see what happens. Dice are out. And there's another square pair. Back-to-back -back square pairs. Check out the square pair channel on YouTube. Uh, 
pretty funny guys. It's a $30 win, $35 win. And we're going to bring this, sorry, bring the eight down. As I was saying, square pair, good guys. They got a good channel. Check them out. Nice are out. And there's another eight. Should have left the bed up, but can't have fear of missing out. Dice are out. And there's a nine. The center field nine. That's going to pay us 42. Again, rack it all up. Bring this down. I actually like this style of play when you have that kind of money out where you bring it down as you hit because you're not really doubling your money because it was your money out there to begin with, but it ensures you're putting it in your in your bankroll and not um, leaving it out there to get whacked on a big red. And there she is, big red. It's a 437. So we'll lose all this. And now we have an opportunity um, to go ahead and see uh, where we stand. Again, here's our initial $150 bankroll. There's 100. It's 125. There's five. So there's 75, another 100. So that's 200, 205, $209. You can go ahead and throw that to your dealer for a tip. $200 um, win off of a $300 bankroll. Uh, nothing to shake a stick at. I like it. So the strategy works at this level too. Again, another short video just kind of showing how it plays. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, again, I did this video because one of my subscribers suggested it. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave comments below. If you leave a comment, let me know what you want. I will do my best to put it out there for you. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell your friends about the channel. Tell your friends about the game of craps and how fun it is to play. And hopefully, if you do that, I'll see you on the casino floor.